and feet to rain on your parade. So, if you are like easily triggered by the topics of anxiety, death, you can stop watching this video right now because that is what I'm going to be discussing today. Like May is coming to an end. It is the Mental Health Awareness Month, and I felt like I should be sharing my story about anxiety, how I tackled it, and how I'm battling it still. It always comes in phases. Like I never, I I still don't remember like the transition that happened, where I was like normal in a time and then anxious later on. Like the transition is such a blur. Like it just happens. and then you have to deal with it so when the whole like covid-19 thing happened and 2020 passed by i was still fine but like the beginning of this year my anxiety got a little bad and i started to overthink more over worry more i started to uh, think about like the worst case scenario possible in my head and it was it has basically started affecting my daily routine of things now that was the fucked up part because in my field of work i have to be creative and up and going like every moment in my day so when that started hindering like i i thought like this was something to be discussed with my parents and they are both doctors so they they understood like what i was going through and they immediately suggested that i get myself an appointment with a neuropsychiatrist which i did and i think it's it was one of the best things that i could do so i was like recommended a uh, cbt which is cognitive behavioral therapy uh, with that a few medications but the medications were basically to like uh, calm down my anxiety a little and cbt was the important aspect of this whole treatment it took me around 3 to 4 sessions to get done with it they ask you a set of questions that you have to answer and you basically talk like you talk about everything that has been bothering you and everything that has been troubling you if you are going through something like this you have to get help you have to talk to somebody like the more you bottle your feelings up the more is going to come back at you and it's going to ruin everything like there there won't be mental peace there won't be like satisfaction with your work there won't be happiness so if you are going through something of this sort like get help talk to people talk to your close ones if you don't have a certain somebody to speak to like there are national helplines that can help you which i'll be listing down below so just like don't bottle it up man it's it's, it's not worth it at all i like, trust me and i'm still <laughs> just because i got like a little treatment doesn't mean that i'm like 100 wasn't done with it or like 100 wasn't am better I'm still battling it. I still get those thoughts. I still think about life in general. Uh, when I got consulted, like the doctor told me that this is a very common thing that happens between the age of 20 to 25, and it is generally termed as existential crisis. Basically, you think about life. Uh, that does it have purpose? Does it have meaning? What does this all mean if it's going to end for us all anyway? <laughs> I know it's a ridiculous question, but like. occupied my head and i couldn't stop thinking about it so that's when i decided i had to tell my parents and involve them because things were getting out of my control basically my point is that getting help is of the most number one priority so to end this episode on a positive note here's a video of me playing with some of my small friends i made at guga baba Don't let my friends. Keep going.